Hello Taurus and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Taurus, I am super excited to do your life purpose reading today. I hope you're all doing well and excited too. Excellent. So I'm going to take out two purpose cards for you to start and I'll be taking other cards for your energy, career, finances and anything that your spirit team wants you to know. So Taurus, let's get started. This one wants to come out. Oh, and this one too. Excellent. Okay, Taurus, your first card, we have career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. So I do feel, yeah, there's going to be some form of career change here. Not just career change. It could be also starting a business, starting a side hustle too. Something that you're very passionate about, something that you love to do, something that you've always wanted to do. Excellent. Second card, we have writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Taurus, is there a book that you want to write that you feel very passionate about that the world needs to read? If you feel that, yes, start writing. Put your head down and write. Beautiful. Third card, we also have environmentalists. You're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals too. Beautiful. So you may have some sort of connection with the environment, working with animals too, or working with nature too. It's all about doing what you love to do and following your heart's desire too. Excellent, Taurus. Okay, so let's have a look at your energy card. Big energy we have. Well, Taurus, this is you. The Queen of Pentacles. You're being represented as the Queen of Pentacles here. So with the Queen of Pentacles, you may be, for example, someone of a nurturer too. You can be a mother, you can be maybe a wife, but someone that's very caring, someone that's also a leader in their own right, even a business owner. But the big energy here is leading. Leading, but also nurturing yourself too. You are quite the leader, Taurus. Anything that you put your mind to, you will do it. You're quite the negotiator too. You bring harmony to the workplace, into the family. Even when there is, when there is conflict, you somehow manage to calm things down too. So the big energy here, Taurus, do not forget to also lead and also nurture yourself too. Excellent. Beautiful. Let's have a look at your career cards. Okay, this one's coming out. Oh, that one. And that one. Beautiful. Excellent. So Taurus, the first card, we do have the Ace of Swords here. Beautiful. The Ace of Swords is brand new beginnings, but also cutting through challenges, oppositions, and any challenges through your sheer determination. It's about being assertive. It's also about how can I say this? Charging forward. Remember, Taurus, that you are represented by the bull. The bull charges forward. So you're literally going to be breaking through any challenges or anything that's standing in your way through your sheer determination. Remember, though, it's not about being aggressive, but it's about pushing forward through your sheer determination. There may be a situation that you may be, need to be or you may, may require to be a bit assert assertive. To get through the, the, the blocks or things that are standing in your way, Taurus. Second card, we also have the Six of Cups here. There will be someone coming from your past and contacting you. Something about, in terms of your career too. This could be an old colleague, uh, someone. Someone's definitely going to make contact with you. Definitely hear them out. See what it is, that, what they have to say. Perhaps you were very good friends too. And it's time for a catch-up too. It's also time to have some more fun. You also have the devil here. The, the devil is the card of extremes. Taurus, what I'm trying to say here, watch out if you are overeating, if you're over drinking, self-medicating too much. Because sometimes if we are under quite a bit of stress here from our job, sometimes we can turn into negative thinking or we can... 
uh, fall into the trap of overeating, not being able to sleep too. So just be careful of not doing something of too much, too much of the extremes too. Also, just be careful with your spending too, because again, doing a bit of online, too much of online shopping too, just be careful with that. Let's have a look at your finances. Oh, this card wants to jump. Yeah, a lot of cards want my attention. Okay, so the first card, excellent. We do have for finances the Emperor. Very, very boss energy. The Emperor is literally all the kings wrapped up in one Taurus. So you are being represented as somewhat as a leader of your own money. You're very structured and very disciplined. If that's not the case for you, however, Taurus, the big message here is to start being more structured and disciplined with your money. Start to take charge of your money. Think like a CEO, a business owner, how they would handle their money. So again, it's all about budgeting. It's about looking at bank statements, forecasting any expenses and saving for the future too. Because you do have the potential. You have a very good business mind, Taurus. You know how to, you come up with strategies and solutions sometimes. Because most of the times I do notice with your reading, you get the emperor quite a lot. Second card, we also have the eight of wands here. The eight of wands is a flurry of activity. So there is good news coming your way. This could be, again, a raise, a promotion. Finances looks really good, to be honest. I feel like there will be some sort of offer coming your way. Um, a promotion, a salary increase, a wage increase. A third card, we also have the page of cups here. The page of cups, they're, they're like small messages. But messages, perhaps someone saying, can we please have a meeting? And there's some sort of uh, conversations about offers too. So overall, Taurus, you have nothing to worry about in terms of your finances. Finances absolutely looks good. If anything, I see there's going to be some, sort of, some form of offer to increase your finances. But it does require for you to plan for the future forecasting planning to save long term too because you've come out as the emperor that's very very boss energy like it's all the kings wrapped up in one okay let's have a look what your spirit team wants you to know okay what does spirit team okay we've got one okay so first card we do have the two of cups here Excellent. So Taurus, if you are single, it won't be for long. Absolutely not. There's definitely love here. Someone that matches and mirrors you. Someone that gets you. Someone that shares your same ideas and goals. You can be vulnerable with this person. You can actually just really be yourself. It's not like walking on eggshells. You can really be yourself. So I do see there's going to be love for singles. Absolutely. We also have the two two of pentacles here you may be again your spirit team wants you to know for those who are struggling with their money for example if there's been unexpected expenses if there's been just things where you've trying to stay your head above the water here that will pass that is going to pass you don't have to worry about that because it's like you're doing the juggling act with your money. Even though I said that there are no issues with your money, perhaps with some there has been, for example, um, things just breaking down and you're trying to juggle your money, it's going to pass. You have nothing to worry about. Now, you also have the five of cups. There has been disappointments in the past. I feel like you have put 110% towards something and you've kind of like have been let down left out in the cold, perhaps um, just projects didn't work out. It's like also rejection being left out. Yeah, Taurus, it's going to be okay because there's something better for you too. It is just right under the page of cups too. I feel like you're going to get some form of message here from someone. Whatever disappointment there's been though, Taurus, you're going to get through it. You're going to pass it. I'm going to get some confirmation cards though. Let's get some clarification cards. 
for those who are new please do not forget to subscribe to our channel when you subscribe every week you get two readings so Fifi will be focusing on love and romance while I'll be focusing on your career your finances and anything that your spirit team wants you to know thank you Taurus for supporting this channel Fifi and I love and appreciate all of you so thank you all right let's get back to the reading Okay, so for your career, you had the Ace of Swords, also confirmed, wow, you have the Sun, beautiful, most abundant card in the deck, I love seeing the Sun too, so any challenging cards that you get in this reading, do not worry because the, the Sun lessens the blow of any challenging cards, but you're definitely going to break through any challenges or anything that's standing in your way, Taurus, and it's going to be fantastic. You may also consider of traveling to a hot and sunny place too. I see also the return of health too. Health looks absolutely fantastic. I see there's going to be abundance in all areas of your life too, not just with your career, family, friends, your health, anything, and you're going to start building a stronger foundation for you. Thanks to with the Ace of Swords and the Sun. With the Six of Cups, I mentioned that someone will be coming back from your past. You also have the Knight of Swords here. This person, you're going to hear from this person very quickly. They're going to come very, very quickly. Yep. It's not going to take long, no, because it is the fastest moving knight. The person is not galloping. They are charging. So do expect, I feel like it may come through social media. It can come through your emails. But yeah, keep your eyes and ears open because there is someone from your past returning. With the devil, you also have the nine of wands here. This is the wounded soldier. But with the wounded soldier, it's all about not giving up. Do not give up, Taurus. Whatever it is that you want in your career, do not give up. It's also okay to lower your shoulders because I do feel that maybe you're a little bit defensive perhaps um, keeping people at an arm's length it's okay to let people in because you don't have you don't have any challenge it's not like it's not like you have the five of ones where people are arguing i would say okay yes don't let people but you can lower your shoulders it's okay to let people in and just watch for anything of too much also with your finances, you had the Emperor. Wow, also confirmed with the Page of Wands. More messages. You're going to get some form of message here. Could be someone younger, someone young at heart, someone younger than you. But again, it does involve some sort of meeting, something that's happening, moving. And again, this has something to do with all the things that you're very passionate about because Page of Wands represents anything that you're passionate about, projects, careers, all that stuff too. So again, I feel there will be some sort of movement with your finances. With the Eight of Wands, oh wow, another page. We've got the Page of Pentacles here. There's more movement, but there's also formal and informal studying here. So I feel like whatever offer you may receive, I feel like what you're going to do, you're going to do your due diligence. You're going to research to see the the pros and the cons whatever offer that's going to come you're really going to study now again if you're changing careers or if you're going to do something different you're going to really research you're going to put your head and maybe go online and research okay like who is this company where are they located what what is their reviews you're going to start you're going to really research which is really good i have to admit it's not like your it's not like the um the night of swords where someone's very impulsive no no no. if anything what you're doing is correct whatever offer is coming because you do have the eight of wands the eight of wands is the second fastest major arcana so you've got the chariot and then you have the eight of wands so whatever fast offer is coming i feel like you're going to do your research first to make sure there's nothing there's no no hidden agenda which there isn't because you don't have any challenging cards. You have nothing to worry about. With the Page of Cups, you also have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. You can see 
by the picture the 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 burst uh, the chariot that the chest is bursting with um pentacles here yes there, you're going to get some sort of offer here you have three pages i don't see this often in a reading the page of wands the page of pentacles and the page of cups lots of messages back and forth and there's a lot of money here so taurus there's nothing to worry about your money i'm going to be honest i feel though because you did get the life purpose card with career change here i do feel there's some going to be some form of career change some form of change and it's going to lead to success big success actually with the ten of pentacles now it's not going to happen overnight but it will happen definitely you just need to follow your heart keep doing just like i said with the ace of swords breaking through blocks or anyone that's standing in your way getting through any challenges or oppositions it does require absolute sheer determination with um the two of cups let's see what do we have oh we have the full here it's about taking risks if you are single and you love someone you're getting those butterflies in your stomach take a risk talk to the person ask them out put yourself out there the worst thing that can happen that the person will say no okay but you must take a chance i feel the person is going to accept to be honest but take a chance put yourself out there more for those who are single with the two of pentacles you also have the eight of swords now this is just a mental card your spirit team is giving you a heads up here taurus sometimes we may feel a little bit trapped imprisoned stuck in our own little world which is not true this person that is blindfolded can free herself because none of the swords are touching her so what i'm saying is sometimes watch your negative thoughts taurus because that is just a mental card sometimes it's very easy to fall into negativity now this can be highly linked to also the devil thinking too much negative and all we do is ruminate over and over and it leads to nowhere so just be very wary about that please with the five of cups disappointment do not worry because you've got the six of wands here victory whatever things that now this is also highly linked to the ace of swords here whatever disappointments whatever challenges that come that the that the world throws at you taurus do not worry because you also have the six of wands this is victory winning the battle winning the war coming home to victory and glory too there is a word of warning though but this card the shadow it does come with jealousy not everybody will be clapping taurus with for those who do not clap for you well you knew you know who to stay with and who which ones to leave just be wary of those who do not clap for you they do not do not have the best intention for you but there is victory whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here taurus you will manifest it yes there will be maybe some bumps along the way but you will get through them somehow with the ace of swords you will be able to get to your destination so taurus i want to thank you so much for joining me in this reading i absolutely love this reading this is a beautiful reading Thank you again. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.